what's going on YouTube. Uh, we're going to try a slightly different camera position, see if that helps out a little bit with giving you guys a better view. Uh, so this is going to be an interesting one, I think. Um, I've, I don't know if I would say it learns automatically, but driving through, so as you can see, again, we're 25 mile an hour inside the neighborhood, by the way. Um, so why it speeds up, slows down a little erratically. I don't know if that's because of the sun position or something causing it to have trouble seeing, but uh, that's that's kind of a new thing, like this hesitation and there's nobody at this intersection. So why are we just creeping in? I have no idea. And I'm disengaging because it's kind of in the middle of the road. So, going slower, now we're speeding up, it's getting comfortable doing 25. Again, as a reminder, when I look at this, I'm kind of thinking in terms of like robo taxi, also just my own comfort and experience, right? Um, I think it's been more herky jerky lately, if that's still a commonly used term than uh, it used to be. Uh, again, we're doing the creep and then we'll take a look so we can see better and then we go. So speeds up, speed limit is 35, so it's sped up fast stops and hangs out around 30 and now we're up to roughly the speed limit so i wish the takeoff was a little bit more gentle and then it would just get to the speed rather than like i've noticed with this particular iteration it it just kind of randomly at moments speeds up slows down like we've slowed down to 30 now from 35. we're coming up on a stop that's fine that was actually a pretty good stop. That's the kind of stop I want on a regular basis. Now we're speeding up quickly, but we're hitting the 20 mile an hour school zone. School's out. We're at 25, that's good. Here's where I think it'll get interesting. Going through downtown Cottleville, which is basically where I live. Um, there's a lot of interesting signage here that I don't think the car knows how to deal with. Uh, I've already driven through it, so I know what the experience might be like. I might have even somehow trained it a little bit because I kind of forced it to do things. So as we come up on these, uh, like so just like that, all of a sudden now we're slowing down. So we should have been at 20 miles an hour back there, like way back there. Now we're abruptly stopping down to six miles an hour. I had to give it gas there so that it would know to go. So it's, I don't know if it's picking up on these stop signs for stop for pedestrians or if it's these signs over here on the the left that really kind of mess with it. But uh, it, like here we go again, we're now slowing down to 13 or so. This might goof people up, you know, I don't know, with having the, the golf carts on the side of the road or whatnot but uh, nonetheless we're still technically we're still in the 20 mile an hour zone we haven't hit 25 miles an hour i don't think so we're already speeding up to 30 but 30's over there this gets heavily patrolled by the way because as you may have noticed there's an area over there called frankie martin's there's also a park here on the right hand side it's got a dog park a lot of kids go to play here so this isn't an area where you want to be speeding you know doing the speed limit fine if you're doing like one or two over in certain situations, fine, but it really shouldn't be messing around. So like right now we're doing great. We're keeping right at the speed limit and we're actually out of the area where there's concern. We've slowed down to 26. We are gonna be making the right here because again, I was keeping this as a short drive really just to test what it's like through going uh, downtown Cottleville, but um, it's just very almost like 
I don't know, permit driver meets grandpa or grandma driver, you know, somebody who's maybe has some issues with the uh, uh, vision or whatnot, I don't know. Like it just, um, very, and I, I hate to say that because that's ageist or whatever, but definitely feels like, uh, you know, permit driver versus married with somebody who's uh, having difficult driving for other reasons. So what we're gonna do now is kind of actually go back through and kick this on. We gotta stop. So we're gonna try coming around from this way. So again, things that I'm looking for, how is it handling the speed going through there? Is it appropriate for that area? Is it following the speed limit? Um, how's it handling pedestrian traffic or lack of pedestrian traffic with all the signage that's there? You know, these are, these are factors, right? Like if, if you're doing like a robo taxi thing and you're sitting in a car and it's doing this random stuff, like what kind of confidence do you have that this, this is the vehicle you want to get in and have it taken you for a ride? And frankly, uh, city streets is the part that should be, um, quite frankly, like the go-to. So... I'm going to go ahead and take over here because it's just hanging out when it has the ability to go. All right, so you got a 30 mile per hour zone. It's doing 40. Now it's probably following traffic and those guys are speeding. That's fine, but if uh, robo taxi ish, I don't know. Who's getting the ticket? <laughs> 25 mile an hour speed limit. We're still doing 38. Another 25 mile an hour speed limit sign. Now we're starting to react, but we're still doing 33. So we're 10 over. Now we're coming up on the 20. This is that, I know we got pedestrian traffic. Right. No, we don't yield for anything other than pedestrians. 22, this is fine. This is how you want it to be. So on the second pass, much better. We should be getting over. We should be getting over. We should be getting over. There we go. So hesitation on picking the right lane. That's a, again, common theme. If you watch the first video that I posted, uh, you'll see that it was in absolutely the turn lane instead of the straight lane. That one might be a little bit more confusing. So second time through the town, I would say that's much closer to what kind of experience you want. First time through is an absolute disaster and it's actually worse. I mean, I, when I say like I've gone through it and it's acted worse, that was a really good stop. Acceleration wasn't too bad, maybe a tad fast, but not super fast and kind of hanging around 30. We're in a 35, it would be fine to go 35 now. So we're creeping up to that, it looks like. So, I don't know what to say, just, just some inconsistencies a minute. Now I will tell you this, uh, that in a weird way is actually an improvement over 1236. On 1236, uh, I couldn't even use FSD to go through there. It completely ignored any of the pedestrian signage um, and would speed through there. Like it would it would want to do 35 through the whole downtown Cottleville section. Um, and they will pull you over and ticket you. They will hang out there. In fact, I don't know whether any of you noticed, but when you get from, uh, when you get through the town over where the park is, that park is also the town hall and the police. 
So, I mean, you're literally driving right at the police station and speeding. So, uh, just just not a good, uh, not a good situation there. So, uh, hopefully, more improvements to come. Uh, again, I believe firmly that they will be able to. Um, but I'm doing these videos to just kind of spot, kind of point things out because it, you know, there's a lot of different. Do you want to call it edge case scenarios that Tesla has to uh, account for? And this just goes to show that there's still plenty of work to do. Um, I don't know how quickly it can get there. It certainly was a massive improvement when they went to version 12. So it gives you a lot of promise that maybe the, the training is going a lot faster. But um, we'll see. So thanks again for watching.